uh, this year uh, I was about 15 pounds heavier than I was uh, last year. So I came uh, prepared to uh, do battle with these guys and uh, I think I put uh, everything I had into it and I think I got a good result from it. At least I hope I did anyway. I knew then that I had something that I could battle Ronnie with and that was really what drove me into 2001 where um, I was a much better athlete coming into Mr. Olympia. I took the whole year to prepare. You know, I always wanted to be somebody. I was just overwhelmed by what the body could look like. I couldn't believe it. You know, I had seen superheroes before, you know, Batman and Superman in cartoons, but I never saw in real life a physique look like that. And I just, you know, I marveled at it. I just couldn't believe that this was actually attainable. So here I am from small town USA. My dream is to always go to California and train amongst, you know, the pros that I read about in the magazines. In 2001, Jay Cutler nearly beat Ronnie, but after that, Ronnie, you know, reeled off another few victories. I saw the writing on the wall with Ronnie Coleman coming in at 280, 275, 290 pounds. The bodybuilding and the landscape was forever changed. Here comes, here comes the enemy, <laughs> Ronnie Coleman. In the moment of truth, Ronnie Coleman, four-time Mr. Olympia, Jake Cutler, first-time runner-up in $60,000 richer. As Ronnie Coleman, known for his trademark dropping to his knees for the fourth consecutive year, Jake Cutler receives the silver medallion. The $60,000 uh, prize money, Jay Cutler. And I, uh, we went on there and I placed second to Ronnie, but this is the first time I ever experienced, like, wow, I can actually stand next to Ronnie Coleman. I'm the one that's been there time and time and time again. I fought all those years against Ronnie Coleman, the best bodybuilder ever. His eyes just blew everybody away, you know. Um, Jay Cutler was, was in it, but there was no contest that time. Uh, you know, Ronnie was just an amalgam of muscle that, uh, you know, a freak of nature that, you know, we, we, we won't see for a long time. I felt in 2005, um, I matched Ronnie Coleman like in a lot of poses, including some back shots, which I never thought I did. I improved a little bit there. Um, and he still was definitely at a different level. Because I saw the look in Ronnie's eye every time we won, the, every time he won the Olympia. And then every year in that announcement, I don't care what, you know, I stood next to Ronnie Coleman inches from him. And he was scared every time and that's the difference between me and everybody else because mentally I prepared for both victory and loss so Jay was always finishing second apart from 2002 when he didn't compete in the Olympia in 
2005, it was very, very close. Personally, I would have given it to Jay. Jay was absolutely devastated by it. Now I have the fans behind me because now I was an underdog. And I was happy. I was ecstatic to be second place. I, that was almost as great as winning to me because I was really competitive and a lot of people thought Jay should win this competition. But in 2006, he finally beat Bernie. He was trying to cement his legacy by being you know, the ultimate winner of the Mr. Olympia. And uh, so I was kind of like torn between emotions, like, shit, I just won Mr. Olympia, but you know, I feel bad for this guy who's trying to break the record. And uh, it didn't happen. You know? But I knew what I won. I knew I, I knew I had him. When we were building up for the competition, you know, of course, it was became a Ronnie and Jay show after all these years of after being second you know, four times in a row, of course, it's, you know, I was, it was almost like Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Mr. Olympia. So when I won and knocked off the champ, which he was going for his record ninth, Mr. Olympia, he had already won eight. It was a, a huge, huge uh, monkey off my back. Jay couldn't beat me if he was, uh, uh, he, no, I think Jay, in order for Jay to beat me, he had to be, uh, be reborn and pray for some better genetics. This is the guy that I fought. A couple years. Eight years.